Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. One of the most frequently asked questions by students is how can we present the results of a scale in the form of a percentage distribution in their research or thesis. Now there are certain scales where the predetermined levels have been provided. For example, the authors of the scale would have stated under the scoring section that a score between 0 to 6 is low and a score between 20 to 25 or something like that is high. So the predetermined levels have been given in such cases. However, there are certain scales where there are no predetermined levels and the researcher has to classify the total score into categories and then present it in the form of a percentage distribution. So this is what we are going to be doing in this video. We are going to be totaling the items of this particular scale, which is the subjective well-being scale developed by the World Health Organization. And then we are going to be presenting it in the form of a percentage distribution. Remember this scale does not have a, a classification into different levels. Okay, I will be leaving the link of this scale in the description. You can read the scoring pattern. And then we, once we do total the score, as I said, we will be presenting it in the form of a percentage distribution for easy reporting. So let's go ahead and do this. Okay, so now we have these five items that need to be totaled to secure the total score. Remember the uh, subjective well-being scale does not have any predetermined levels so, and there are no subdomains either. So all we need to do is just total these five items together. For this, we need to go to transform, compute, uh, pull in item 1, plus 2, plus 3, plus 4, and plus 5. Just like how you do in a calculator. And then here I say TOT, WEL, that is the total well being. In the label, we write total. well-being yeah click continue and I will click OK so here you can see a total score has been generated now what we need to do is we need to present this data in the form of a percentage distribution for our thesis because presenting this will be a challenge and as I said there are no predetermined levels provided by the scale it, we just know that a higher score means higher well-being or better well-being and a lower score means lower well-being but then how do we present it in the form of a percentage distribution? For this, we need to first find the average score or the mean score of the respondents in terms of the well-being. Let's go ahead and do this. For this, we go to Analyze, Descriptive Statistics, Descriptives. And let me just show you what I did. I put in the total well-being here inside. I don't want standard deviation. I just need the mean, minimum and maximum. Then I click OK. Now when I go to the output, I can see the mean, minimum, and maximum. Mean is 8.98, minimum is 3, and the maximum is 15. All we need is the mean actually. So the mean is around 9, okay, because 8.98 can be rounded off to 9. So uh, we go to the data view again. So now that we know the mean, we need to classify this total score into two categories, high and low. For this, we go to transform, recode into different variables, pull in total well being in select it make sure older new values are selected now the range i've already given here it will be 0 to 8 right 0 to 8 that would be called 1 okay and the range through highest that is 9 and above would be 2 so basically i'm telling the computer anyone who scores between 0 to 8 put them in group 1 anyone who scores between 9 and above will be in group 2 Okay, these are, this is a new classification we are doing into high and low. So then we will continue, uh, go to the data view. Now here on the label we need to say level of well-being. Yeah. So it's because we have categorized them into a, a different level. So level of well-being. Then click change. Then click OK. So now you can see a new variable has been generated. This is the uh, level of <clears throat> well-being of the respondents. We need to go to the variable view to add the value labels. Okay, so the value labels of this would be one will be called low 
or low level of well-being and two will be called high so this is the new classification we are giving based on the mean score and then click ok now let us find out how many respondents actually have a high level of well-being and how many have low level of well-being or how much percentage of the respondents are in the high level category and how many are in the low level category for this we go to analyze descriptive statistics uh, frequencies let me just reset this put in the level of well-being in okay uh, remove standard deviation okay we don't need minimum maximum either all we need is the percentage and the number so then click OK now we go to the output scroll down so here you can see the frequency and the percentage is given so as you can see majority of our respondents are having a high level of well-being that is 62 percent are having a high level of well-being and only 38 are having a low level of well-being so this is how you present the data or report the data in terms of a percentage distribution you say majority of the respondents in bracket 62 percent have a high level of well-being while the remaining in bracket 38 percent have a low level of well-being okay subjective well-being so that's how we present this data and this is a simple way of how to uh, total and then classify the scale results when there are no predetermined levels given okay and also to present them in the form of a percentage distribution so i hope you found this video useful if you did please like it uh, comment if you have any doubts and please subscribe to my channel for more such videos thanks for watching and bye for now